Welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in about two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between your to-dos and your priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and what we know is that humans are inherently negative. Let me explain. We humans have a negativity bias, which means that we're wired to notice threats in the environment. This is like the evolution of humans watching guard at night to not to be attacked by the lion, right? This is why we get scared in the dark alley when someone is chasing us. Let's hope that never happens, but this is a good thing. It's kept our species alive. But as we evolve, we don't just want to be alive, we also want to be happy. Now, we're not faced with a lion in the night, but instead a global pandemic or anything else you see on the news, right? Where there is too much of a focus on the negative, gratitude can be a way to nurture a more positive focus, literally using it as a sword to cut the negativity and teach the brain to spend more time on the feel goods and less time hanging on to the things that kind of suck. So gratitude builds on itself. We know the brain changes with experience. So the more that gratitude is practiced, the more the brain learns to tune into the positive things in the world. This isn't something that tends to come naturally, but the saying, what you focus on grows, right? This is how we start to shift the mind from focusing on the negativity and instead seeing the good because we are intentionally focusing on gratitude. Our brain can't help itself. It wants to give you more of what you focus on. And that, my friends, is magic. So I invite you to focus on the good today and just see what happens. And if you're called to share, I would love to hear what you're focusing on over at Everyday Happiness with Katie on social media. And remember, kindness is contagious.